his words had a massive impact on, on me and, and then lots and lots of other people. And I don't know how many thousands of times I've repeated them. The idea of one meal every day in a place of education for the hungry child like Edward, you know, to meet their immediate need for food and at the same time to, to tackle that underlying cause of, of poverty by enabling them to, to come into the classroom. And through that, this, this work of Mary's Meals was born. Mary's Meals is now a global organisation feeding over one and a half million children and working in 18 countries. Pauline McCormick and Mary Smith are part of that movement, fundraising and throwing their weight behind the Backpack Project. This complements the feeding programme in schools. Polly and I started in our homes, uh, gathering up bits and pieces, and we had 2,000 backpacks filled by ourselves, but our homes were overtaken and overrun by it. Then we moved into the centre here in Armagh. Uh, we had a bit of help in getting that, and it was great. We needed it. As you can see now, there's no way this could fit in my house or Pauline's house now at this stage. And it's great that we have these facilities, and especially so local, because it brings all the communities together and all age groups together to come in and help uh, run the project. Well, I honestly couldn't tell you how many comes every day because we don't have a rota. It's just if it suits the women to come, they come. And if it doesn't suit the women to come, well, there's always enough that can carry on. Volunteers gather two days a week to fill these backpacks that will find their way to Malawi. We realised in providing the, the meal to the hungry children, often then they didn't have the basic tools for, for learning pack project. So often it's taken up by schools in Ireland who, who um, use their old backpacks or recycle their backpacks and put in what's, what's necessary for, for learning, like copy books, pencils, pens, a toy, a spoon, toothpaste. And it's a great way to, for us to raise a, awareness of Mary's Meals, but also it's a great opportunity. I mean, the kids love to receive the backpacks in these countries, and often it might be the only and present or gift that they will receive. My job would be to try to keep all these boxes filled and sometimes it's easy and sometimes it's not easy but we do get great support from the local people, from families and friends and um, the whole thing just works wonderful and it really is amazing because anything that we're short of someone seems to open the door and come in with it. Good to see um, you. Pauline there's a few big spoons for you, dessert spoons Please to see. A timely visit by local woman Frances Davidson when she heard they needed more spoons. And I just woke up yesterday morning and I thought, they need spoons. And I went round everybody, went down my daddy's house and got all the old spoons in my own house. And I just thought, I'll give a wee donation. I can afford it, and I could, and that's why I did it. That generosity keeps the items flowing in and the volunteers keep giving. Everyone wants to find out about Mary's Meals. It gets addictive. It really gets addictive and everywhere you go out you're looking for bargains so you're looking for something to do the backpacks. We collect this uh, stuff that is given to us free, that the people can, as I said, if you can live without it, pass it on. Volunteers work in various sections and this is the towel and flip-flop room. Flip-flops are taken for granted by most of us, but when you're wearing plastic milk cartons held together by ropes, like many of the children in Malawi, a backpack containing this sort of footwear is a great gift. We have a fabulous benefactor in County Donegal, Letterkenny, and he has donated these flip-flops to us. 10,000 in the last number of years to Mary's Meals. And just imagine the children opening their backpacks and receiving a pair of these instead of the clapped out milk bottles that they're using already. Sure, it's fabulous. Children um, will donate their clothes to us, their clothes that they have grown out of or that they're finished with or that they've got given to them and they don't wear. And also the school uniforms. We use the school uniforms. And we can even take the boys' trousers, even though the knees are out of them, because we have two ladies, Mary and Geraldine, who they shorten the trousers and make them into shorts for us. And then we have ladies working at home, and they're making um, skirts for us for the backpack. 
and we can use anything that's given to us, even curtains. If there's nice cotton material in them, we can make the skirts from them. I am making pencil cases. When I joined uh, the Mary's Meals, uh, the girls here were buying the pencil cases and it was working out very expensive. So I suggested to Pauline that uh, we would make pencil cases. It's very, very simple. A little bit of Velcro and a little bit of Velcro here and two little seams and they're folded over and you have a perfectly durable pencil case. There's a real sense of community at the centre as the ladies beaver away, happy that they are involved in a charity where their backpacks will help to educate the children and hopefully get them to the next stage. It actually does me good because it's, the folk here are very uplifting, you know, they're, they're great crowd to work with and you feel you're doing something practical and then we've seen we've seen films of the children get them out in Malawi and places and the you know the joy there and the smiles of them I mean it just it's just a real boost if so it is you know it's great. We have volunteers in most parts of Ireland yes and we have ladies that come down from Castle Blaney and come down from Monaghan and then we have ladies that come from Coal Island. There's a group in Coal Island and they come from Coal Island here because they like the practical side of it here where they can get involved in the actual filling of the backpacks and the actual work. The ladies seem to like that. And uh, they would come to us quite often and help us with the work that we do here in Armagh. The group has also raised €90,000 for Mary's Meals feeding programmes. What we do in Cookstown is, um, firstly, it's a monthly collection in our church. Baskets were popped in at the end of the month. And it's just been absolutely fantastic. It's like walk across 10 cents in the road. You don't realise that that 10 cents can feed a child for a day. I was blown away by what they can do for so little. It costs around €17 Euro to feed a child for a year. And when they get news back of how their work is making a difference, it gives them huge encouragement to continue. My name is Poonam Kumari Shah. I am 15 years old. But when my father is ill, my mother, my brother, my brother, my brother, or my brother, 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 Mary's Meals is a charity that is constantly evolving with the end goal of using education to break the cycle of poverty. Well, Mary's Meals ha has a vision and the vision that, that every child in the world will be fed and that sure every child in the world deserves to be fed so Mary's Means has a plan to make that happen. And now after being in action for 16 years, thankfully we see the beginning of the, the end of poverty because many of the children who received Mary's Meals in the early days are now young adults going to, believe it or not, even in the developing world, they are going to third level. And it's brilliant to see that. And many of them are, are getting jobs as postmen or nurses or Thankfully, somebody, some, there'll be doctors and all that's here, and it's changing their communities because now they're not depending on, say, the, the Westerner, but they're depending on themselves to provide for, for their families and for their loved ones. And so they, we are breaking the cycle of poverty, as Magnus's vision tells us. Now they have what they call a generation of hope. Veronica was one of the first pupils to be part of Mary's Meals programmes in Malawi and now she's in college. Education is important because when you're educated you have power. People do not take advantage of you. I want to be independent one day. To do my things in the way I like. I have been a nobody enough. I keep on working hard so that I'll be somebody. 
I think it's a beautiful thing that this work, this growing, you know, in this unbelievable way around the world, was ignited by the words of a child. Yeah, it was, a, it was the words of a child. It wasn't, it wasn't us, um, some development expert sitting somewhere or us in, a, in an office uh, back in Scotland. Uh, it, it was the words of a child. Okay, so is this, this, this is you? This yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, who's this? This one, C C C. Area C, Angela, Bernardo, Noemiu. Okay. Yeah. And uh, that one was uh, my mama, my mother. Mm -hmm. So that time uh, he was uh, very ill. He was, he was very sick. sick. Yeah. 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 I remember it. Yeah. It was 2002, the month November. 22 November oh, 2002. How do you remember that? It was yeah, I remember November. it. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, right, yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. Mm -hmm. No, I thought it'd be nice for you to have those pictures. Yeah. Right. We didn't begin Mary's Meals in his village even. It was some years before it got to, to Balaka where he lives. I, I knew that for Edward, uh, Mary's Meals came too late, that he'd missed school. His words and, and this amazing thing that's grown out of that, that's, that's helping so many children. It was great seeing his younger uh, brother in school eating Mary's meals. Well, it's, it's absolutely wonderful. And I always say with coming here to Mary's Meals and working in Mary's Meals, it's better than a tonic because it gives us all a great lift. And we go out of here just feeling on top of the world, knowing that we have done something to help children that's not just as comfortable as what we are. A positive story of Christian giving on this Good Friday. And for more information,